Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 109 of my player here on Xbox One. Today we'll be having the final game of the final fourth season in this my player series. This is going to be the last game we're actually ever going to play in FIFA 14 my player. The next few episodes tomorrow will be a season roundup and then uh, I've got an idea to maybe put together some kind of best bits or you know some highlights from each individual season to uh, to take us up to uh, to FIFA 15, you know, go through each of our individual seasons and take some highlights out from them put together a little like memory reel highlight reel for uh, each individual season and that will take us hopefully through the uh, the appropriate uh, schedule slots all the way until FIFA 15 comes out or at least the early release uh, in about 10 days time but today we got the game away from home against Cardiff as you can see we need just two or we are just two points behind uh, City rivals Manchester City and uh, if we can win I don't know who they've got we'll have a look shall we let's have a look at fixtures. Who's City got on the final day to try and make sure that they keep fourth place? They have, or second place rather, they have QPR at home. That's very reminiscent of a certain Barclays Premier League title win with Mr. Aguero scoring a goal. But anyway, let's jump into the game against Cardiff. Hopefully, QPR can come up with an upset and we'll steal second place from Manchester City. Well cut out there by Fellaini, plays me in, I'll try and get a turn and then look for the ball over the top for the on-running Eduardo, is that? No, it's Juricic into the box, twice the shot, question of whether the defender stuck his foot in there and maybe put him off, maybe a clipped heel and he could have gone down to win a penalty, he didn't and Cardiff are coming away with it, Berge, Berget into uh, Alan Kardec but Eduardo wins it back, nothing given by the referee, again, but we'll turn and we might be able to get in behind here, that's a good effort by the defender to put me off, but we've been able to find Eduardo, can he find a shot? No, he swings at thin air, falls over and the chance goes missing, but Fellaini's picked it up again, can my first touch take me around this man, Fellaini's kept his run going, we're going to look for the man in the middle, Eduardo, no, Juricic in again, great save by the goalkeeper, was his name Spitz, S-B-I-T-Z, I think that said, wonderful save, Great reaction save off his hip. Not the most uh, obvious of techniques, but still, he kept out, which is the most important thing. But can we win the header? No, we can't. And Zaha can't win that following ball either, and Cardiff retain possession. Exciting start to this one then. Ten minutes in, still nil-nil, but we've had two or three good chances already. Cardiff knocks that down for Charlie Noon. Noon's got a man over here in Daly, or Daly. I'm not really too sure how to pronounce that. Here's Burgett, has the shot well blocked by Darren Fletcher. It's going to go out for a corner to Cardiff. Had chances at both ends now in these uh, opening few minutes. Can we get this away? No, they've had the shot with the head. It's gone out for another corner. Cardiff really putting the pressure on now. We had some pressure at the other end, and now Cardiff are kind of twisting and turning the screw up the other end. They're going to win this header. They have. It's on target from Stephen Corker, but fortunately for us, Anders Lindegaard is right behind it. Here's Kardec, out wide to Fabio on the overlap from left back, whips a good ball in, there's a man underneath it, Mason, good save again by Anders Lindegaard, got it away well actually and away from danger which was the most important thing because there were Cardiff players loitering with intent there, the chance isn't dead yet though, Charlie Noon might have an effort here, it's a good dinked ball, can the man get there? Yes, Nicholas Nkulu does have the pace and the strength to be able to come around on the defensive cover, that is a gorgeous through ball, McNaughton into Mason, Cardiff still putting the pressure on, we need to get this away, we need to get ourselves a goal because Cardiff look like they're uh, threatening here, they definitely have the chances or are going to have the chances to get goals, we need to make sure we can score one to at least ease the pressure and give ourselves some sort of margin of victory because Cardiff really look like they're going to get themselves a goal here, oh Juricic that's terrible, what are you doing? Oh, so frustrating. It's Butner into Fellaini. We had a decent amount of possession now for the past 10 minutes or so. It eased the uh, the defensive load on our uh, backline players because Cardiff were really putting us up against it. But we could get this into the back of it. That is a tidy finish. I am really pleased with that on my left foot. We really haven't had many finishes that have been of that sort of quality on our one-star weak foot. But that one, just when we needed it, came good really nice finish pleased with that Man United won Cardiff nil they've had the better chances they've been the more adventurous side going forward we catch them on the counter-attack the technique there was perfect cutting across the ball underneath it so it bent away from the goalkeeper but then inside the far post really nice finish sights unfortunate there in goal you see the the spin on the ball to just bend it back in towards the post 
quite overpowered those shots this year with those cross uh, cross goal shots where your guy or the player that has the shot kind of falls on his front. They seem to be this year's uh, you know near post shots from FIFA 13, but still we'll take it. Man United one, Cardiff City nil. No word as of yet as to the Man City result. Win that please, Nicholas. He has done brought that down well. Johnny Evans with not the most convincing of clearances, but he got it away at least. But Juricic loses out to Ikram, whips it into Mason. We get it away, but again only as far as Begay. Berger, Juricic, up to Eduardo, that's asking a bit much of me to be completely honest. In the first half, stop his time here, the ball's pinballing about left and right, but there goes the half-time whistle, we're going to go in with the lead at the break, not necessarily a deserved lead, but we are in front, which I guess is the most important thing, whether you deserve it or not. One goal to nil is the scoreline, and that's how we're going to go in to the next 45. Button into Juricic got them on the back foot here with a bit of pace Juricic, Fellaini into me we've shrugged off the challenge of one man can we race away and put this into the oh that is a terrible shot I was going to race away and put it into the bottom corner but there was so little power on that that it didn't even trouble the goalkeeper at all though you'd have thought he would have been able to keep hold of a shot that week don't know whether it was because the man on my shoulder gave me a cheeky little tug on the shirt before I had the shot regardless it was a poor one we stay at 1-0 cleverly to Fletcher I'll call for it and cleverly will find me and we've got a man running on the other side it's Wilfred Zaha in behind his first touch is actually woeful and it goes straight to the goalkeeper because the defender was able to come back and claim it Craig Noon not Charlie Noon as I wrongfully said earlier plays the ball down the uh, the outside to McNaughton here and then might get it back inside to Noon they brought on Jordan Much in the midfield who is a hit and miss kind of player he either plays out of his skin or is non-existent. I guess we'll find out which one turns up today. Or look for Eduardo over the top. He's kind of given up on it there. Wankala could just get the ball clear. 15 minutes to go. We're still 1-0 in front. Cleverly does well to get that to Kago. He's won the foul, but we'll keep possession. And have I got the pace to get away from Fabio? In fact, we've got the quickness of feet to step inside him. We'll look for the ball into the box. Drops to Shinji Kagawa. Can't get his shot away, but it's only come away as far as Fellaini on the edge of the box. Here's Darren Fletch. I'll call for it. I'll get it out of my feet and then give it a crack. Oh, and just whisk us away from a second goal. Good strike from us there. Ten minutes to go. Only a couple of inches away from a second goal. That was a really nice hit. Just wanted to get it out of my feet so I could get enough power behind it. Dips right in front of the goalkeeper. That's a difficult one to try and get down to. He didn't get down to it, but crucially, he didn't need to. It went wide. We stay at 1-0. Darren Fletcher looking for Shinji Kagawa. I'll offer my support here, but it's not going to be too good. I'm probably better off getting into the box. Here's Fletcher, though. Finds me. First touch takes us around the man, and the shot is saved well by Sites. Good shot. Well saved chance to uh, to seal the points there we weren't quite able to take it and Cardiff on the counter-attack up the other end we got the ball back but giving it straight away again can Cardiff deal the counter blow and get an equaliser at the death the ball has rebounded here to Alan Kardec and he has finished it into the back of the net Cardiff have got the counter counter-attack of love and the sucker punch on the end of it Alan Kardec great ball over the top a beautiful finish such power and such a clean strike as well. The ball drilled into the far bottom corner. Nothing Anders Lindegaard can do. A point isn't good enough for us. We need a win. It doesn't look like we're going to be finishing second. There goes the final whistle then. They steal a point here, Cardiff. We had the better of the second half. Don't know why the players are celebrating so much. We just drew away at Cardiff to throw away second place in the league. But still, we got a goal at least. Alan Cardiff, the goal right at the death. 1-1 it finishes. Question is, how did... Well, we won't be anywhere near City if they... We were... Oh, well, they were already two points ahead of us, weren't they? And uh, we only get a point there, so we definitely aren't getting second. City won regardless, so even if we had picked up the victory, we wouldn't have finished second. We'll have a quick look at the final table, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll have a season roundup before I try and put together some highlight videos for the rest of the series to, uh, to end it in kind of a nostalgic fashion. But as you can see, we do finish third in the league, three points ahead of Liverpool in fourth. Arsenal don't finish in the Champions League spots. They are a point outside. Chelsea win the league, 
pleased with that. City second, ourselves third. That'll do. We'd lose Wigan, Bolton and Palace, but we'll look into all of that in more depth tomorrow. That's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed. As always, if you aren't subscribed, then hit that sub button, and of course, you can join the uh, the journey all the way through FIFA 15. There's plenty of uh, early FIFA 15 content going to be coming to you on this channel. We're having a look at some FIFA 15 stuff already with uh, the demo videos, that another one of which will be going up tonight, and the potential stars. A look at some of the young that could become some absolutely worldy players in the career mode for FIFA 15. So uh, check the channel page for any of those that you've missed, but that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll have demo tonight, and I'll see you next time.